you grab a group of drives. They're all belonging to the pool. The first subdivision doesn't have to be, depends on your setup and what you want is the VDOVs. We have the data VDOVs, we have special metadata VDOVs, we have the ZIL VDOVs, and we have the uh, read cache VDOVs. If you want to learn more about these VDOV types and you haven't already, then check out what Tom Lawrence has to say in the previous podcast. So what I'm going to add first is a hot spare. So I'm going to select one slot because I've only really got one drive I can assign as a spare. So I'm going to click add and now I'm going to choose this other four terabyte drive I've got here. So that means now should one of these drives fail, then this hot spare will automatically be added in to the Z pool to replace the failed drive. And then the disk will be resilvered and the data repopulated. So it'd be cool if you've got a spare drive, having it ready to go should anything bad happen to the pool. 